Don't touch it. Let your fingerprints stay. In the criminal justice system, truck-based offences are considered especially heinous. In Brisbane, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Foxy Home Staging Unit. These are their stories. We've had a not a great start to the Monday. Had the battery stolen off the truck which lives outside our warehouse. We've got cameras on it, but we we'll, uh, haven't checked them yet. We'll see if we can find out. Got some footage, but, uh, yeah, we got to install in two pack ups today as well, so we were hoping to be out of here in 20 minutes. The roadside, uh, gonna give me a call back. Okay. So I can find the nearest battery dealer to come around, and they should be able to do it pretty soon. Pretty easy confidence. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, it's pretty very clean. Oh, here it is. Don't touch it, let your fingerprints shake. So trucks back up, Jake. Happy days. Happy days. Yeah. And it looks like the girls have caught the guys on camera too. Well, they're on camera. It's dark, but we'll uh, hand it off to the, the professionals. There yep, he can... is! <laughs> the <Dad! burger. laughs> He doesn't have grey trousers. It's different. He's taking the steak. But that was their battery, not ours. We're going to do a pack-up, and then we're going straight to another install in the city with elevators and probably not great access and all fun stuff. We're not too far behind schedule. No, we lost about an hour, hour and a little bit, but not bad for stolen batteries. Could have been worse. It went well. Had a mostly good day after a not so great start. Had uh, the install in the city on Queen Street, right on the river, which was better than you'd think. Uh, we had a loading bay backed up right um, or easy access elevator was ready to go for us, so all pretty smooth. Now we're going to get this stuff off, um, and I'm going to figure out how to get the footage off our security camera for the police. Okay, you need to do the pack up because you're doing the Patton Street tomorrow. So we'll need to be another car so that we, we go straight to Patton Street. Um, our street's on Friday, on Thursday, so this is going to be a big day. I like them. And we got these, two of these guys, and two of the natural ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. So how did this go in Melbourne? We had very, very well. successful. Very, very well. Four days, <laughs> and we really should give ourselves more time next time. Yeah. yeah. Very sore feet, very big. <laughs> we actually missed out on the whole, an entire whole. We yeah. um, <laughs> couldn't do it justice, so we went, we're not even going in here, so <laughs> two of them. Oh, we got so much furniture. Lots and lots of bits and pieces, armchairs, cushions. Um, yeah, we got cushions, all feather fill insert cushions, um, heaps of accessories, we had quite a few new suppliers. And um, lots more to order. Yes, we still have money in the budget. <laughs> and we got a few season catalogues, which we have to track around, but well, you are. It's just the bus and a little one on. I'm actually choosing a home. I'm doing the photo shoots, doing selection. It's been a while. I'm just using the stuff that's been sitting on the shelf for a little while because I've been saying to the girls to use some colour, so I'm showing them how to do it because it's scary. Because we do lots of tribal, lots of monochrome, and not as much lots of colour. Um, coming into spring, the colour's always nice, so... We do more like subtle pencil colour. Yeah. Little bits and pieces, so... So not overwhelming colour, just the right amount. Could be the girl, actually. Don't assume it's a boy. It could be that girl. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. <laughs> so where have we just been, Phoebe? We went to Sherry Story's Women in Real Estate Breakfast. Um, a good networking event. She had a good debate with um, some amazing agents up on stage. Mm. Um, but it's just nice to have a morning uh, out at a nice fancy restaurant. Morning. I do it like once a year at Sherry Stories event. <laughs> <laughs> and what are the um, team up to now? Um, we've got a pack up where the keys are MIA <laughs> and an install. Um, I'm going to pack up the Sabo, so lots of stuff happening. All in time to get back and do some planning for tomorrow because. One of the guys are there tomorrow. We've got a Gary V event in Brisbane, yeah. so lots of professional development happening this week. You're not <sighs> feeling well today, Phoebe? No, I'm not. I feel like my head's going to explode. Uh, it's going round. Emily Caroline has asked a mm. question. 
My name's Sarek. She's looking for her tips to get new business as a stylist. Uh, she has a truck stock in storage already. So basically she's just looking for ways to get more business. What would you say would be one or maybe two ways that you think she can get new business? Maybe that's worked for you. Um, something that we see that definitely has like a direct impact every time we do it is calling cold calls to agents. Every time we sit down and make calls, regardless if it's from the girls or from me, we get, there's a direct impact, but like measurable impact to the number of quotes that we have come in. Uh, and then obviously it's up to us whether or not we win the quotes. How would you recommend somebody approaches cold calling? Because it's oh, quite don't, a... don't, don't sell. You're not ringing to sell yourself. You're ringing to have a chat. You're ringing to have a conversation. So it makes it easier on you to do the call if you're not ringing to sell. If you're ringing just to say, hi, it's Phoebe from Foxy Home Staging. Just ring to say hi, let you know that we're here, doing things a bit differently. We'd love to have the opportunity to chat to you if you're ever free. Um, and if they say, you know what, I've got my own stylist, so I go, no, that's no problem. Um, we're always here as a backup option if ever we need be. Um, or we'd love to have a coffee, but most of the time there's be one or two that go, I have a quote that I need done, can you do it? So that's, there's always a measurable impact for us. Promotions, so not necessarily giving anything like discounting or anything, but um, thinking of clever ways that you can promote your business or cross promote with um, using partnerships with other businesses, building a pest businesses, cleaning businesses, um, trying to get um, those partnerships off the ground and being able to leverage on other partnerships. So trying to find people that you can uh, join together to get your business name out there. I'm uh, just about to record an intro to the latest podcast with Tara Singh from Let's Style Interiors. Tomorrow is, I'm excited, I'm ready to go. It's uh, Gary V, among, uh, along with a lot of others. So, Greg Green Cardone. Cardone. And, yeah, Jules Lund, Kerwin Ray, Greg Cardone's wife, I think. I can't remember her name, but yeah, uh, a lot of good speakers, so really looking forward to it. So, we're over doing that at the exhibition centre all day. Put your hands together for Gary V. Takeaways from today, how'd it go? Uh, it's a long day, but a very good day. Um, Gary V's, he's, I don't know, I love him. I love his message. He's uh, just one of those people that you just walk away feeling very motivated and positive. Doesn't really matter what he talks about, just get a good feeling. Um, the other speakers were quite good. I enjoyed Kerwin Ray um, and also Elaine uh, Cardone was quite good. Um, yeah, I don't know, really great day. Long one, but really worth going. Um, and I mean, we bought $39 ticket or something, so definitely worth the money investment. So. And what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, the stuff we've been talking about, it's been on my mind for a while anyway, but LinkedIn has to happen. Um, that's probably the biggest one for, for me and for, I guess, our team. Um, and I guess, look, there's some other things there that we've been meaning to do and, and look at. Um, and Gary's message is more content on every platform, so, you know, pick which ones we can do and what we can try and do well and, and uh, do as much as we possibly can.